Some scientists are now saying that ayahuasca, which is a hallucinogenic used by shamans in the Amazon, might actually fight cancer. Eduardo E. Schenberg is a scientist from the Federal University of Sao Paulo, and he said, quote, There is enough available evidence that ayahuasca's active principles, especially DMT and harmine, have positive effects in some cell cultures used to study cancer and in biochemical processes important in cancer treatment, both in vitro and in vivo. So DMT, which is the active ingredient in ayahuasca, it binds to serotonin receptors in the brain, and uh, the drug also binds to the sigma-1 receptor, which is found throughout the body and is involved in many cellular functions, including the death signaling of cancer cells. So in theory, it makes sense. Now, there's some anecdotal stories of people saying, well, this, you know, I was able to fight my cancer better because I did this or whatever. But for the most part, it's anecdotal and there's only a handful of cases. So you need to really study this in a, in a trial setting. And that's the point is that the reason why Raw Story had this article and this scientist was imploring to do studies, you know, begging universities, well, let's do studies because it seems like this works in theory. There's some anecdotal evidence of it. So let's put it into practice. We'll do the studies and find out if it's true that, in fact, ayahuasca does make it so that, you know, you can fight your cancer better. It can help cure your cancer or whatever the case is. So this is really interesting because, I mean, think about it. DMT is, uh, you know, a chemical that naturally occurs in your brain. But what uh, ayahuasca uh, does is... I guess it produces more of that, or it just puts more of that in your body. And DMT, uh, it gives you these really interesting halluc hallucinations. Now, I've watched before, and I'm a fan of uh, Joe Rogan's podcast, and he talks about how he's done a couple psychedelic trips. And he talks about how you really feel like you're connecting to something bigger than yourself, and it makes you kind of re-question your reality and view things from a totally different and new perspective. So even if, and this is the point here, even if there aren't actual uh, solid, concrete, scientific reasons that this fights cancer or cures cancer or whatever, you could still, if you study this, you could still find that there are, most likely, there's some form of uh, medical use for it, whether it's to fight PTSD or fight depression or fight, I don't know, certain kinds of phobias or uh, other medical ailments. I don't know because I'm not a doctor. I'm not a scientist. I'm a fucking talk show host. I don't know shit. But the point is, scientists are saying we should research this, we should exhaust this. And the problem is that in the U.S., with the war on drugs, there's this uh, just shut-off mentality of any drugs that are not already pre-approved by pharmaceutical companies, we're not interested in having a conversation with them or researching them or figuring out how they function, how they work. LSD, for example, used to be tested until the government banned it, and now we find out that it actually has some properties, or is it ecstasy that has some properties? One of them has properties that helps fight PTSD big time. Weed is another thing, the laundry list of things it helps, but it's not recognized as legitimate on a federal level. I mean, it's crazy that certain substances we've totally turned a blind eye to and we say, we don't care even if that does help, we're not interested in it because we're fighting this ridiculous war on drugs where we spent a trillion dollars and people are still just as likely to use drugs today than before we spent the trillion dollars, not to mention the increase in crime and the rest of it. So uh, it'd be a great idea to take this drug. Now, I'm scared of hallucinogenics. So I wouldn't do it. <laughs> I mean, that's just the, you know, I'm not anti-drug. You guys know that very well. And I in, in, indulge in my own things from time to time. But I'm just scared of all hallucin hallucinogenics. But that doesn't mean other people shouldn't have the freedom to take it and put in their body whatever they put in their, bo in their body as long as they're not hurting anybody else. So this should be uh, studied. It should be researched. We should find out what it helps and what it doesn't. And we should also just have it, you know, legal like anything else.